Awesome. And up next, I want to set up the cart item where we're passing in all of the data from the cart items. So we go here with dot, 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 and item. Basically, we spread out all of the properties so we can access them, of course, here when we destructure the props. And then we just want to set up some return with image, title, and the rest of the stuff. Yes, of course, none of the buttons at the moment will work, but at least we'll have a better looking card item. And also we want to get two icons from the icons. We want to get the rest of them, the chevron down and chevron up. So I'm going to navigate to the card item first. Let me grab both of them. Let me get the import. Then we're looking for chevron down and chevron, chevron up. After that, we want to go and the structure all of the props. So we're looking for ID, image, title, price, as well as the amount. And as far as the return, let's start over here with simple article. So we want to go here with article and then let's add a class of cart item. So then we want to go with image and the source will be the image. So let me say here, dynamically image. And as far as the alternative, well, we have the title for that. So let's save it and we should see the images. And if we do, and of course we can proceed to the next step. After that, we want to set up a div. Heading four is where we'll display the title. So let's save that. Then we also want to set up the price. So let's say here, heading four with a class of item price, which comes with a little bit of styling. And then I'll add the dollar sign and I'll say a price. Let's save that. Then we want to set up the button. So right below, we'll go with button, then class and remove hyphen BTN. And we'll say remove. Let's save that. And then we just want to set up those buttons to increase or decrease the amount. So we want to do that right after this div. So this is where we set up the heading fours and the button. But after that, we want to go with another div, there's going to be no class. But we want to set up a button. Let's call this amount hyphen BTN. And then let's add that icon over here. So in this case, I want to go with Chevron up, let's close it. Okay, good. Then we want to copy and paste and set up the Chevron down. So the class is going to be the same mount button in here, we just want to say Chevron down and in between them. This is where we'll place the amount. So let's say here, paragraph class name, amount, and we want to render the amount. So say amount over here, let's save that. And for all of them, we have one. Of course, in the following videos, we'll set up the functionality that allows us to change that. And with this in place, now we can start slowly adding our first reducers.